In this video, you'll learn a super easy way to send personalized bulk emails through a method called Mail Merge. We'll go from just having a list of details in Excel to creating a dynamic Word doc where fields like the name, the commission, or the product name change depending on the recipient. And finally, we'll send all of these customized emails in bulk with just one click. Starting with Excel, and suppose we're a car dealership, and over here are all of our salespeople and the car that they've managed to sell, the commission that they've earned for that, and their contact details and the bank name. The idea is that every time they earn a commission, we would like to notify them via email and send them a custom message. So with this information that we have in Excel, we want to be able to link it to this Word document, which is basically the email draft. You can see there that it currently has a few different X's, and these are all the areas that we would like customized. So the name, obviously how much they've earned in commission, or their product, whatever they've actually sold, and then down here, their bank name. We somehow need to find a way to import all of the Excel data into Word and make it dynamic. For this, we're gonna head over to this area called Mailings, and we want to go to Select Recipients, and we want to link the existing list that we have in Excel. Mine's in my desktop, so I'm just gonna go over there, and it's called My Sales List. I'm going to open that, and here, I just wanna make sure that this part is ticked, which is the column headers that we currently do have, and click on OK. Awesome, so we've just imported this Excel file, but where is it? Well, we can go over to Edit Recipient List to actually see what we've imported. Here in this pop-up, if we stretch this out a bit more, you can see that it's imported all of the columns that we had before in the Excel file. And if you want to get rid of certain lines, you can just untick them like so. And you can even filter, which is going to allow you to select specific ones. Like you could say equals to max, for example. We don't really need that for now, so we'll close out of it. And once you're happy with the data cleaning, you can just click on OK. Now we're getting into the more exciting stuff where we can customize the email. So let's take a look over here. And the first part we need to customize is the greeting. So what we'll do is select that whole area like so, and we'll go over to greeting line. In this pop-up, we can change it from dear to two if we wanted, but we're happy with dear for now. And you can see here that we can either do the first name and the last name. That's the example with the preview down below as dear Max Verstappen. Or we could change that to, let's say, just have the first name, like Joshua. You can see there as dear Max. You can preview all the other ones just by clicking on them. So you can see dear Sergio, dear George, Carlos, etc. If you're not quite seeing the match, we can always go to match fields. You can see there that the Word document has detected the first name as the first name within the Excel file. But if it hasn't for you, you can always link it to make it dynamic. Click on OK there and OK again. So right now we have greeting line. That means that we can delete this other area over here. So let's do that. That's a greeting area done. And next we can work on the body of the email. So you'll notice that you have earned XXX in commission. So that's one we want to change. But before that, if you want to see if this greeting line is working properly, you can always just preview the results. So we'll click on that, and it says Dear Carlos for now. If we go back one, it's someone else. That seems to be working well. We'll untick on the preview there and continue. So the commission, this XXX, we want to change to the commission amount. So now we'll go over to Insert Merge Field, and we want to select the commission, which is going to give us the numerical amount and the recent sale of A, that should be the product. So insert merge field and we'll select the product sold. That should be the name of the product. Finally, down here we have the bank name. So we'll select that and under insert merge field again, we'll select the bank name. So that should then say your Chase bank account or your Barclays bank account. And we can check that again with the preview result. So you can see it says Bank of America for the sale of a Toyota Tacoma for $4,000. If I go back one, you'll see it's for $5,000, name changes, and so does everything else. So that's looking great. That said, what if you want to send a different message depending on some condition? Over here, you can see that we say, please expect to receive the payment in five working days. But let's say that if you earn a commission that's less than $4,000, then you're not going to receive payment until the amount surpasses that. So we should have this message right here that varies depending on the commission amount. And we can do that with a rule. So first, we'll just copy this paragraph that we want as the variable one with control C. 
and then we'll head over to rules. There's a ton of different options, but we want to go with an if then else. The idea is that if the commission amount is less than 4,000, then we just want to say that we will process your commission once you surpass the $4,000 mark. And otherwise, so if they're above the 4,000, then I'm just going to paste our previous message, which is just to receive the payment in five working days. So depending on the scenario they're in, they're going to receive a different message. We'll click on OK and let's try to test this out. I'm just going to hit enter there to space that out. And this max person is over 6,000, so that's fine. But let's suppose we go to the next one. Charles is OK. But as soon as we go to, let's say, George here, you can see the message is different. It now says we will process your commission once you surpass the $4,000. So you can see there how powerful something like a rule can be. And to see the behind the scenes of how this works, you can press the key Alt F9. And you'll notice there that it has a few different conditions. So wherever we have the merged field, it clearly shows us something slightly different. And here we have an if statement of sorts. That changes based on whether it's less than 4,000 or above the 4,000. To deactivate this behind the scenes view, you can go to Alt F9 again. So we've imported the Excel file, we've made the email dynamic in Word, and now we just need to send it to all the recipients. And for this, we'll go back inside of mailings here. And all the way on the right hand side where it says finish and merge, we have a few different options. One is to print the documents. This is something quite useful for an invoice, say, if you want to print all of these invoices separately. You can also edit these documents so they're gonna open up individually, or you can send email messages. We'll click on that one. Here we can customize things like the subject line and let's say congratulations. You've earned a commission. You can further customize like who exactly you want to send to, but we're happy with this. You just need to click on OK and that's going to open up your email platform, in this case Outlook, and send out all the emails. So let's take a look at the messages that have been sent on Outlook. Over here I have one that's been directed to Max. You can see it's been sent to his email address and it's customized for him with his amount. If I go over to the next one, it's for Charles and you can see there that that has some slightly different details for him and so on and so forth. If you found this trick useful and you enjoy my teaching style, check out our complete Microsoft Office bundle where we offer four courses on Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and Outlook, all designed to make you more productive at work. The link for that is down in the description below and some of the course topics include a built from scratch Excel financial model, designing PowerPoint stock pitch decks, building a business report in Word, and having workday simulations in Outlook. All our courses use practical exercises in the form of case studies to replicate the type of work you might encounter as a full-time working professional. So if you want to become more productive at work, this is the perfect package that you can find in the link in the description below. Let me know down in the comments if you want a part two of Mail Merge to learn how to attach a document as well. For the time being, if you want to learn how to create a data entry form in Excel, check out this video over here or take our Microsoft Office bundle over here. Hit that like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.